Happy birthday, Grandpa Fela and Nicola Pokuti. I know this will have been your 82nd birthday if the cold ends of death didn't take you away. I'm not here to talk about that because a legend you still remain. I'm here to talk about we Nigerians failing you and sleeping so deep only to wake up in 2020. I'm here to talk about we suffering and smiling even if you prophesied about that and not still being bothered. I'm here to talk about our fathers that lived in your generation and couldn't fight for their rights because they were afraid to die. I'm here to talk about we ignoring your warning and still electing Bubu that you tagged as animal in human skin. I know you saw this coming and never kept shut. I know you knew we were in bondage and you were our messiah even if we never appreciate. We are harassed daily and even killed by the police charged to protect us. But you taught us not to be wary and stand up to them. Now we are awake grandpa fella. If our father's generations failed us, we promise not to fail you and our generations to come. That is why we are taking to the streets and fighting for our rights. Not just to end police brutality, SARS or SWAT, as governments are bent on fooling us. It is to end corruption, misappropriation, misconduct, impunity, injustice that are institutionalized in high places. I know those in government are shocked and this is not the kind of Nigerian youth they are used to. Yes, because you, Grandpa Fela, planted a seed of courage and strength when no one knew it was there. Because you stood and fought for our rights and you were even jailed for it. I know, Grandpa Fela, that you are watching from the heavens and smiling. Proud of the youth of our present Nigeria. We are stout-hearted and armed with our voices. And this you believed we would do years before 2020. This is the greatest birthday gift you have ever received, Grandpa Fela. And thank you for believing in us. Long live to Fela and Nicola Pokuti, the man that always had death in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs>